We're making three different dishes. The winner gets $10,000, but this cook-off has a huge twist, so let's go. You challenge us to make a pizza, but here's the twist. We're not allowed to use a rolling pin, a pan, a knife, or a can opener, so let's go. I've got a whole bunch of dough here because I'm making a Chicago deep dish pizza, nice. man. I have to cook my eggs, but I can't use a hot plate or a pan, so I'm using dry ice. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's gonna freeze an egg. There's no way it's gonna cook the egg, though. I guess we'll find out. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa, dude, it's whoa, sizzling, bro. Whoa. As you do that, I'm gonna create my Chicago deep dish, but the issue is I'm not allowed to use a pan, so it's gonna have to kind of mold it with my hands here like this. This is pretty cool, man. Look at it right there, man. Just kind of like Oh, dude, I'm gonna try to cook the egg in this thing here. Yo, that it's like is bubbling so up. Oh, cool. I gotta say, that's probably the coolest way I've ever seen eggs cooked, man. This reminds me of a stress ball. The deep dish crust is done. Next time, I gotta make some rotisserie chicken right now. It totally oh. worked. Look at this. Wait, pick it up. Is it stuck on there, though? It's a little stuck. Oh, what? my God. Gosh. Dude! It looks like a saucer. And because I'm not allowed to use a knife to slice up the chicken, I brought along some Wolverine claws out of my Whoa. private collection. So wait a second. Yep. What? Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. And do not try this at home. Yeah, do not try this at do home. Not. Here we go. Let's see this. Whoa! Oh. I didn't Whoa. know I needed right, so chicken, yes. but now I do. All right, here we go. I have a lot of chicken. Oh my gosh. Kind of blacked out there for a second. What that just happened? That was crazy. You got chicken in your hair. Now look to the side. Right. And since I can't use a hot pan or a grill or anything, I gotta use two irons. Wait, That's so right. What? I'm cooking the hot dogs just like this. Oh my, oh, jeez. That is this really is cool, totally man. This is totally working. You lost a dog. Next up, time to slice up an onion. <laughs> All right, my hot dogs are cooked. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time to retire the Wolverine claws. And man, I gotta oh. say, these things were a ton of fun. <laughs> Cook my steak, I have a brand new way of doing this. We are using gallium, or should Wait, I say liquid metal, and I've heated it up where the gallium is now molten. It's extremely hot, and we're gonna be pouring it on here to see if it sears it and cooks it. You're not gonna eat that, right? No, you cannot eat it once the gallium has touched it, so we're just doing this to see if it'll actually work. Do not try this at home. Put some safety goggles on, I've got yep. a cutting board right here. We are taking this very oh, seriously. Get out of the way, right, man. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. no! Listen to that, bro. Oh my gosh. Great Yo, job. I can smell it sizzling. It's literally molten metal right now, guys, on the Dude. inside of this thing. Look at the metal, like, still liquid and everything. Wow. Dude, this is definitely gonna win me the $10,000. All right, next up, I gotta roll out my dough, but unfortunately, I can't use a rolling pin, Wait. so I gotta use these things. Hold on, why do you have blue dough? Dude, this thing is very difficult. What is going on? All right, well, here we go. We're just gonna lather some of this cheese on just like this. What are you doing? I'm trying to roll this thing out. Here we go. I've now lathered up my cheese. It's time to shave it. So let's see here. Here we go. It's gonna shave it like this. This is actually working out. Oh, look at that, man. Cheese shavings out the wazoo, bro. I'm putting the hot dog in the crust, and now I'm attaching it to the crust. You're encrusting a hot dog. Yes. All right, my crust is done, and now it's time to cut up some pepperoni. What are you doing? I'm bricking in my cheese, man. You're, I can't. What? Yeah, I can't figure That's out another not way to a cut turd. it. That absolutely is, man. This is like really clean. I hope you sanitize that brick, Todd. I did, man. I always clean my bricks before I use them in my cooking. All right, cooking. time to cut up this pepperoni. Wait, how are you going to, again, see, how are you going to cut that up without a knife? Oh. You're probably going to need to use a brick. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. I got the best way. All right, Collins, I got the saw. Wait, yo, what? You brought a full saw you used to chop down a yes. tree. This does not belong in a kitchen, Devin. There you go. Do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. Yes! Yo! $10,000, here I come. Time to get rid of the saw. I think I did what I needed to do. Wait, wait, wait. Put one up on my cheese, though. Okay, fine. You know what? Back to the brick, bro. Back to the brick. It's almost time to assemble our pizzas, but first, I need the most important ingredient, tomato sauce. Yeah, well, you do that, I'm gonna make some squiggly potatoes. So I have some squiggly scissors oh, here. Okay. It broke my squiggly scissors. Oh, squiggly yes, cut. yes, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. It's opening. I need something to put it in. Oh, yes. What? Squiggly potato number one. It's such a little amount of tomato sauce for the amount you're having to squeeze that thing, dude. I know. In the finishing touch, I grabbed my mom's hair crimper like this, and now we're gonna put this thing inside like this, and then we're gonna cook the potato just like what? this. Here we go. All right, I've got all the sauce I need, and now it's time to assemble our pizzas. This looks like ketchup, right? Dude, that's like half of my sauce. Oh, man, double dip. What are you doing? All right, well, now let's assemble the pizzas. We've got all the pizza ingredients, and now it's time to assemble it, so I'm gonna kick it off right here with a whole bunch of tomato sauce, Same, man. dude. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, splat! Whoa! Oh, man. Dude, this like splatted Whoa! it, man. I lost concentration My for a second. My pizza was so great. But it got on me, bro. Next up, we got some of this cheese. So here we go. We're just gonna splat down the cheese like this. Oh, yeah, Whoa. man. First layer is all done. Time for the second layer. All right, next up, I'm laying down a base of cheddar cheese. And I'm putting in a whole bunch of chicken and onion for this layer. All right, here we go, man. Just gonna keep pulling it in, pulling it in. Uh oh. I hope it tastes good, because uh, yeah, it doesn't look so great. This is food, Devin. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it tastes. 
All right, time to put the finishing touches on these things and find out who wins the $10,000. We've got the completed pizzas, and I have never seen a pizza that looks like that before. Here's a big reveal. You ready? Three, two, one, ta-da! Bro, yep. and when I slice Whoa. this thing open, man, it's going to be incredible on the inside. You get to comment down below and vote whose pizza do you think is going to taste better. We'll be trying them, as well as choosing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. You challenge us to make a taco, but we're not allowed to use a tortilla press, a knife, or a griddle, so let's go. Because I'm not allowed to use a griddle, I'm kicking off by turning my watermelon into a functioning grill right now. Wow, yeah, Wait, and what are since you doing? I can't make a normal tortilla, I'm making a rice tortilla. Oh! Okay, here we go, just go. Oh, 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 oh. Right, to my face. All right, here we go, yeah. Well, I'm gonna continue over here. I am drenched off the bat. Instead of making normal white rice, I'm making purple rice. That is brand new, bro. I've never seen a purple rice taco before. That seems like it'd be a lot more convenient, man. I'm really excited to see if it works. I'm confused. Oh, Three, is this because you can't use a one. knife? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm using a sword right now. Okay. <clears throat> I hear it going. Oh, oh snap, dude. dude. No knife, nice. but a perfect slice off nice. the top. Nah. Come at me, bro. Nice. Give me a high five. Yeah. The rice is cooked and it's cooled, and now it's time to make the patty. Hey, this careful. is called juicing from the careful. bottom. Careful. I'm just Oh, man. I regret nothing. All right, well, Just, now uh, I'm taking out my rice from the top, and I'm going to lay it down on this very hot skillet thing. Wait, why? Because this is going to cook the patty, dude. It's you like sizzling, cook it. bro. You're going to, like, crisp the rice, though, man. Exactly. Ah, what? It ran into my armpit. Final step is to make the grilling top here on the melon soap. We're bringing it back oh, to the drill, baby. It totally worked. Oh, my. Dude, that's super crispy. Wait, dude, what are you grilling on your watermelon? I'm going to be grilling a whole bunch of meat for my taco. I think my purple rice is finally ready to be formed into the perfect tortilla shape. Time to finish up the watermelon. Melon grill, this thing is coming along amazing. My purple rice taco shell is done. Now it's time to slice up my pepper. Wait, so how are you gonna slice that without a knife? Oh, oh liquid nitrogen. Dude, this is so I cool. Know, oh right? my gosh. Do not try this at home. We have a trained professional here. It's time to dunk in my pepper. Oh and this my is gosh. Food grade liquid nitrogen so you can actually eat whatever you put in it. Three, two, oh wait. wait. Three second like challenge. We wanna see if you can like this video in three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Done. Three, two, one. Oh! oh it's like oh, bubbling oh, up. It's bubbling right, up. Wait, I wait, you getting to go away? I gotta get the pineapple to protect myself. Dude, this is definitely gonna win me the ten thousand dollars. And the steam is like all by my legs right now. It's so cold. This is oh insane. My, it's like a hot bath, except it's Whoa, freezing cold. Look at that. It's working. Dude, this is the most amount of liquid nitrogen we've ever had before. I kind of want to freeze my pineapple now. Can I freeze a pineapple? No, 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 no. Uh, this is for me. I, want, I just want to freeze a pineapple. This is for me. You can actually knock on it right now. I have never heard a pepper that sounds like this before, man. This I is haven't either. So cold. Cool. Whoa, oh my gosh! To crack! All right, it's ready to oh go. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing it down. It looks like it's been sucking cryo sleep for years, man. Dude, it's like coming this? out right now. Again, right. do not try this at home. Yes. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my no gosh! Way. And this is all I need. That's perfect. That sounded like a piece of glass, dude. That is the best alternative to a knife I have ever seen. Holy this cow. Is insane. All right, my first ingredient, my salsa is done. Next ingredient is this mango and a drill. Wait, you're, wait, you're gonna put a drill in a taco. No, 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 I'm, I'm drilling the mango. Why are you drilling the mango, bro? Well, I gotta drill the mango to get the mango out to put it into my salsa. Now I hit reverse and we reverse out of there and look at that. A little bit of mango at a time. I mean, you can't tell this is my not impressed face. Dude, I'm working without a knife. I'm not impressed. Have you ever tried to make salsa, which is a bunch of diced up fruits and vegetables without a knife. We're not impressed. Next, I'm gonna pick up some piece of pork right here. All right, let's drop them in. So here we go, splash. And now I'm cracking these crab legs. I put a whole bunch of hot coals inside the watermelon grill, so hopefully this is gonna work. And do not try this oh. at home, bro. This looks so good. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, dude, what? listen to this sizzle, bro. Dude. I didn't think this would work, man. Dude. A watermelon grill? Well, what might not actually work is cracking these with some bolt cutters. Wait, bolt cutters? An employee at Target told me it was a life hack. All right, that's enough piece of pork for right now. Perfect. So now I'm gonna let those cook oh, and roast. Oh, it fits. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it actually Dude. works, man. Here, how about this, bro? I'll help you out a little bit, Devin. You don't need any help, I guess. Okay. No help needed. Oh, snap, dude. Mine are cooking so perfectly, bro. Look at this. Oh. It's starting to come along. Yes, look at that. All right, here we go. Got to press my tortilla. Got a tortilla Wait, pressing what? contraption. Dude, that is way too elaborate. You can never get too elaborate when trying to press a tortilla. First, I'm going to put the two pieces of glass together like this. What are you doing? You got a frog, man. I got a frog. You're supposed to make music with that. You're going to separate the two just like this and then plop it down. Oop. Yep, 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 yeah! We have a little pump here. So this pump is gonna be integral to the plan. This does not come out, dude. Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? Whoa! Look at this! Dude. Why is it not perfectly circular, though? That is amazing! I'm a little concerned. Nice. All right, man, there is my taco shell. That is the most impressive way I have ever seen a tortilla made. To cook my tortilla, since we're not allowed to use a grill, I made a hot rock fix. I stuck wow. it in the oven, got it super hot. Do not try this at home, so let's see if this is actually able to cook my tortilla. Three, two, one. Oh! 
Oh, oh no. to Pam the Rock. Gotta Pam the Rock. Hold up. Right, here, here we go. go. Okay, here we go. Three, yep. Three, two, one. one. Teamwork, man. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's gotten crispy. To cook my tuna, I'm actually using beeswax. Wait, beeswax? You can yes. cook something with beeswax? I guess we'll find out. Three, two, one. one. Are you pointing directly on the fish? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yo, it hardens Whoa. instantly. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. All right, the wax is all hardened, and now it's time to break out my fish. Oh, oh hey. Wait. Okay. It looks like congealed bologna with some weird stuff in the middle, man. This doesn't look so good. I gotta break it yeah, open. How are you somehow. gonna do this? Okay. I don't know. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, yes. it breaks away so easily. It's working out perfectly. Just, you gotta be careful. You can wax all my hot rock, bro. You have to be gentle with your fish, man. Look at it. It cooked all the way through. There's a final stretch right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. Yo. That is amazing. I did not think that would work at all. We've got our tacos, and now it's time to assemble them. But first, we're gonna add some seasoning yes. to it. So check this out, though. Here we go. Yo! Oh. Touch sabers. Okay, okay. okay. Oh! Whoa. Let's all let's deactivate them. There okay. we go. Yep. Seasoning time. See if you hold it down. What? I gotta go with the wasabi next. You're making like a sushi taco. Oh my gosh, dude. I still can't believe that the watermelon was able to fully cook the meat. Next up, I'm adding this ahi tuna. Oh, there we man. go. It's very wow. nicely pink on the inside, I know. though. All right, just gonna add this on top. And wax cooked fish, man. How is that gonna taste? Look all right. At this, though. All right, now it's time to put the finishing touches on these and find out who wins. We got the finished tacos. And you added a whole new element, man. Competition is tough. We're going for $10,000 yeah. now. So here Here's a big reveal. Three, two, oh, oh yeah, five second subscribe challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. If you can do that, comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now, and let's see how these look. Three, two, one, done. Oh, oh my gosh, I made a little extra thingy and everything. So you can Man. comment down below whose taco do you think is gonna taste better. We'll be trying them and choosing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. You challenge us to make a burger, but we are not allowed to use a knife, a hot plate, or a pan, so let's go. To kick mine off, I gotta crack some eggs. And I gotta slice up some tomatoes. Three, two, two one. Oh! What are I'm you making? making the breading for my chicken. Next step is for me to slice up this beef, but I can't use a knife, so I've got the next best thing, a paper shredder. That it, wait, that yeah, makes, makes no it, sense. That's the office really? paper shredder, Devin. It, wait, okay, I don't even think it's gonna be able to grind up that meat, to be honest, bro. Next up, I gotta melt the cheese. So I grab my mom's wax melter over here. It's gonna place the cheese in, and I'm sorry, mom, from now on, whenever you melt wax, it's gonna smell like a little bit of cheese. All right, my beef is tenderized, and Collins, it's what? time for you to hold the shredder. This is raw Whoa. meat. Do not touch raw meat, and yes. do not try this at home. Ready, Three, set, go. Oh, oh snap. It worked. It does sound kind uh, of broken, though. It's stuck. I want it back. I Wait, want my meat back. You, you I can't want get it. Oh, my cheese oh. fell. Look, it's starting to overflow on the top, oh. Devin. I gotta say, man, I did not think that this would work, bro, but I'm actually shocked I'm actually over here. I'm actually surprised this worked, too. If this was featured in an infomercial, it would be the next billion-dollar product for sure. You ever find yourself at 3 p.m., thousands of feet above the earth in a Goodyear blimp with nothing but raw meat and a paper shredder? No. But if you did, what would you want to do with it, Devin? You got Beef raw meat? Faster. No, that's not, that's not yet. You got raw meat? Beef got faster. A, Devin, you got Sorry. raw meat and a paper yes. shredder. Beef faster 2000. There we go. Yeah. All right. Order today by calling my personal cell phone number 555 five, oh, you can't give that we're on air got my garlic minced up i think i'm gonna make some aioli and i'm gonna use this mustard next as you make your aioli bro i'm gonna be filling my patties with cheese all right here we go so let's see if i can suck up some of this cheese three two one. Oh, it's working it's nice. working okay nice. gotta overpower this garlic with all the other ingredients oh my gosh we go on the side like this here we go three two one just gonna what inject the cheese right oh, oh. strip you out the side oh, oh boy okay yeah. time to mix my stuff up next up gotta cook my shrimp we don't have a hot plate though how are you gonna cook that thing I'm dude i'm gonna use an electric fly swatter what if like Combust the shrimp. Well, it's an electric out. slice water, bro. If it touches it, it might just go boof. Oh, that was definitely a piece of shrimp. All right, here we go. Three. Oh my gosh. Two, oh boy. One. Oh, oh my geez. gosh. Oh. I did not think that would work, bro. I didn't either. Next up, I gotta chop my onions, but since I have no knife, I'm gonna use a figure skate. Oh, what? How are you gonna slice it? It doesn't seem that sharp, Three, man. Three, two, one. Yo! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And you do that, here we go. I'm gonna pop my potato oh. on the top here like this. Got my eyes. You shoot onion juice in your uh, eye, man. Woo. Are you all right? Stop this. I'm just gonna borrow okay. your skate oh. real quick. This is a much better method, right, so here we sure, go. I'm just gonna sure. slice up like this. Give us a second. We gotta finish this up real quick. Dude, this no knife thing is so tough. I'm gonna have to use pencil sharpeners to cut my onion. I'm having an issue with no hot plate, but I think I've got a great solution a curling iron to cook my bacon. And remember, do not try this at home. Oh, you hear the Dude, sizzle? What? This works. Oh my gosh. It's gonna take it off and it's gonna place it down here. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 there you go. Okay, oh. oh. 
I'm gonna curl up a few more of those, and then it's time to assemble the burger. Time to dredge my chicken. Dredge so it. I'm just gonna dip it in here first. That's called like dredging. This, and then okay. go right into here. Wait. Oh my uh -huh. gosh. What do you mean? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be amazing. I don't know, man. It's kind of questionable. All right. This is my last piece of chicken. I've got my cheese-filled burger patties, and now it's time to cook these in a very unique way. You ready, Devin? I'm so ready. I'm sure this is gonna blow your mind. So right now, let's uh, let's hop outside. We have a Lamborghini here, which yep. is lent to us by our friend Chris. We're gonna be cooking the meat in two different ways. Number one is on the engine, and number two is on the tailpipe. Here we go. Three, oh man. Two. One, two, oh, oh my what? gosh. Got the burger meat and now it's time to see if we'll actually cook. Do not try this at home. So here we go, let me get him in position. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh snap. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, dude. it's so hot right now. I can feel the heat coming off. All right, that's enough right now for the burger seven. So next up, we're gonna see if the tailpipe can cook your chicken. All right, three, two, one. Dude, oh. what? Oh my dude, that is insane. Done. All right. All right. My chicken's looking super crispy, dude. And the burgers are almost done, so we're just gonna be cooking them a little bit more, and they'll be adding these to our burgers. Now, surprisingly, this didn't work, so we actually had to put it in the oven. It's now time to assemble the burgers. So I gotta say, off the bat, bro, my bun what? turned out so good. Mine looks so boring in comparison. It truly is. I really hope these unconventional cooking techniques work, because I want to win the ten thousand dollars so bad, dude, man. Dude, same for my burger patty. Yeah. Remember, this thing is filled with cheese. Yo, All dude, right. yours actually turned out really good. Next up, we're gonna get some some pickles on there, because you gotta get some salty. Crispy crunchiness on it. And then, of course, we have got the other uh, spirally bacon. Time to put the finishing touches on our burger. And I'm really excited to see whose looks better, but more importantly, whose tastes better. So, right now, let's all let's finish these things up. We've got the burgers, and I say mine is definitely worth the $10,000, man. man. I think mine is. So, here's the big reveal three, two, two oh, oh, yeah. If you want to win a 15 minute video call with Devin and I, text the word EAT to 81800 right now. So, pause the video, text the word EAT to 81800. You'll automatically be entered into win. And let's see how these turned out. Three, Two, one, ta-da! You get to comment down below whose burger do you think is gonna taste better. We'll be tasting them and choosing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. It's time to find out which pizza tastes better. We have two very different pizzas. Mine got a whole bunch of layers to it. Yep. It's extremely heavy. Yeah, Dude, that, feel that it. looks like, really heavy. Oh okay. my gosh, it's like 20 pounds, bro. It's not that, yeah, that, that's really heavy. Are you kidding me, bro? That's extremely heavy. And you yeah, got a really blue is. pizza, so it's gonna be really interesting to see which one tastes better. Devin, which pizza should we taste first? Let's taste yours, dude. I really wanna see what's on the inside of that. Here we go, okay. do not try this at home. Yeah. Here we go, time to slice. Slice it open. Three, two, one. Not too quick. Not yep. too quick. Okay, here we go. Okay. Go no, open okay. it. Yep, open yep, it. Yep, yep, okay, here we go. Nice. Three, two, two one. Oh, yeah. my that God. looks so good. Dude, you can see the layers, what? man. It's perfect. Dude. All right, here you go, Devin. Here is your piece. Uh, uh, thank you. That's your piece I, right I there. No, I wanted such a big it's piece. It's a two-slice pizza, guys. Wow. It's kind of a Chicago deep dish tradition. Wait, so seriously, that's all you're going to do, just a forkful? Yes. What are you doing here? I got, I'm just trying to turn around so I can get a bite of it. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Mm. That is super good. Oh my gosh. Two thumbs up with all your barbecue sauce. Dude, I did not want to like that, but that was so good. Nicely done. Thank you. It's like a Smurf pizza, man. What do you mean, dude? You're breaking oh. the middle. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, oh, come oh. on, a clean slice. I got it. I got mine perfectly clean, Devin. This yep. You're being judged on this, this man. This is a little bit more difficult than I expected. A dry ice egg, man. You put an egg on a pizza once before, which I questioned, but it actually tasted really good. But a dry ice egg? It looks uh, like it turned out, though, didn't it? It has a weird, like, texture and quality to it. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's not quite the most appetizing looking. I don't know if you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at. Oh, I definitely am. Yeah, man. Here's the first slice, Collins. You can have the honors. Oh, there see? You, go. you missed the egg. Your blue crust is um, is what? Fantastic, S amazing, like the ocean. Reminds you of everything good in the world. Suspicious. There you go, Collins. Yeah, be very here careful here. Your, yep, there you go. Time for my slice. Wait, why do you get a bigger slice than I do, man? I did? I, if you look at the exact... Okay, they're the I same. I tried to make they're it pretty equal. They're the same, they're the same. Okay, I take I it back. did a good job on this. Three, two, two one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's so Whoa. bad, it makes you want to do kung fu! Wow! This is a weird combo, man. Why do you go wrong? That it's was like weird. Some really good elements, like the pepperoni, the yeah. cheese. I gotta uh, say, man, the crust, the blue crust. Yeah. No. You get to comment down below and vote whose pizza do you think won this round. We'll be announcing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. We've got the completed burgers, and now it's time to find out which one is worthy of the $10,000 prize. How about we start with yours first? I'm super ready. What really makes these burgers interesting is that they were cooked using a Lamborghini, so it I might know. change the whole taste of them. <laughs> Chicken was right by the tailpipes, man. Yes. It's just taking a whole bunch of heat from the car. All right, I think I'm gonna cut it in half first. With a fork and... I've never seen someone just cut a burger just... 
All right, here we go, going down the center. And dude, the Ooh. shrimp, I forgot what the electric fly swatter, man, just zapping it. I don't know if it cooked it or not, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, there goes the shrimp, you lost one. This is a one. tough one, man. All right, here we go, All I'm right. gonna try to take yep. my slice, yep. ready? Oh, Wait, yeah, what are you doing? What are you pushing it into mine for? Two, hold up, what are you three, two, one I'm revealing your burger. Oh. You have a lot of full onions in here, man. Yeah, it was more for aesthetics. Oh my gosh, it's all sliding apart, Devin. All I right. gotta say, in terms of the construction, this burger gets a B minus. Can I order this burger without onions? Can I just take the onions off, please? I'm the chef, and I think you should eat it the way the chef prepares. Here we go. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not taking off the onions. It just fell off. Uh huh. Really? On yeah. purpose. Oh wait, I lost the bottom bun. Hold on, Devin. Yeah, it's really, falling. You're it's so much drama, man. Just eat it. Three, two, one. Once you get all the flavors, it's mm. not so bad. It makes me do a little, hmm. Oh. Yeah, hmm. I like that. Hmm. Got some cheese, you know, hmm. got some burger. Hmm. I gotta say, that was really good once you get past the initial onion, man. Yeah, that it was, was actually delicious. Really, really good. Here we go, time to slice down from the top, man. All right. Do not try this at home. Oh, oh man, the cheese. What? Three, two, one. One. Oh, oh, look at the cheese. Whoa. Bro, it's all wet and slimy. I'm just doing my best to make a great burger, man. So right now, let's see how this cheese-filled Lamborghini grilled burger tastes. Three, two, two one. Ah, uh, it's so dry. It's like a saltine cracker. The pickles taste really good. You get to comment down below and vote whose burger won this round. And we'll be finding out who wins the $10,000 at the end of the video. We've got the completed tacos, and now it's time to find out which one is worthy of $10,000. And just remember, we grilled the meat on a watermelon, so it might change the oh, whole yeah. flavor of this thing. This thing's in a taco bowl that was made by a hot rock. Right. I don't know how we do this. Do we just, I've never eaten a taco bowl whole either. before. I'll, I'll grab my fork and oh, okay, knife. Okay, yeah, you, know, you want to split it in half? You did do a good job of cutting these things, man. Thank you. We're cutting what? I'm cutting these. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yes, thank you. My art on the side is definitely mwah. You're opening this thing up and not in the best way, man. It started off as a taco bowl and it's turned into a regular taco. All right, so I guess on the count of three, we'll see how this thing tastes. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. I didn't think the flavors blended, mm -hmm. but they really do. Mm. I think the watermelon actually really helped with the fruity flavor. Yours is gonna have a tall mountain to climb if it looks to beat this one here. And the pomegranate seeds like tied the whole dish together. Oh, yeah. So now, Devin, time to find out how yours tastes. Yeah. Mine's got a rice taco shell prepared in a coffee that's maker. That's not even the craziest thing, bro. You no. have fish that's been cooked in hot wax. I think this is gonna taste great. I don't know, man. Three. Two, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we just launched our brand new Keeper Club, and if you become a member, you will get exclusive access to live streams, merch discount codes, custom emojis, loyalty badges, and exclusive content you can't see anywhere else. So click the top link in the description to join. It's only $4.99 a month. And let's see how this tastes. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, that doesn't look good. Mm, I, I, mm, I got Okay, I'm on. Mm, oh, oh, it was solid. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, Automatic disqualification uh, trash! It just overpowered the whole thing. You get to comment down below whose taco won this round. Now it's time to find out who won the ten thousand dollars. There were three different dishes, and I gotta say, Devin, you definitely won the burger dish. Oh yeah. That was all definitely. yours, but the taco dish. That was mine yes, right there. And what it all comes down to is the pizza dish. So mine, yeah. I gotta say, a lot of really unique flavors, but all in all, it had multiple different layers of yeah. all this goodness with yeah, it. Yeah, but presentation was super weak. Okay, yeah, so, I gotta say know. the blue crust was definitely definitely a nice touch on yeah, yours. Mine the looks the, middle. the part. It definitely. looked like $10,000. But ultimately, it comes down to taste, Devin. Yeah. And if we're judging based on taste, I think you know the answer. Unfortunately, I don't think mine was the greatest. Therefore, so I think you won. Yes! I won the $10,000, guys. So comment down below, what would you buy with $10,000? And click over here if you want to see another video. You got five seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. done. This is going directly to my savings account. We love you. Bye. Bye.